Namaste, good morning, good evening, good afternoon everyone. My name is Raman and uh, I am so glad to be hosting this fireside chat with uh, Rahul, uh, a long time meditator and uh, uh, the founder of Srijan Technologies, a digital experience uh, services consulting company and a global leader in Drupal Consulting. Uh, I am a part of Edanim, a meditation app uh, meant for mental wellness and emotional well-being. Uh, Thank you so much, Rahul, for sparing time. Thank you. I remember when I spoke to Rahul for the first time a few months back, I was deeply touched by his simplicity and calmness, despite leading a, him leading a fairly large business uh, and being in a, one of the most uh, demanding industries of our times. Uh, when we requested Rahul to spare his time to share his journey and experience with us, uh, he graciously agreed. And here we are at Srijan's office along with Rahul. So thank you Rahul again. Let's start. So sure. could you share something about yourself and your mindfulness journey? Sure. I, this is, I'll just maybe correct and uh, this is not a Srijan office anymore. <laughs> Srijan moved out post acquisition. Sure. And uh, you know I've taken this over as my uh, non-profit work. I do a lot of non-profit work. I've been doing it actually just as Srijan was formed 20, 22 years back, the first couple of years I was actually doing a little bit of freelancing type work um, and while trying to help my father. So I, we were called Srijan Software Consultants that time. So just about that time I started my non-profit as well. It was loosely called uh, Srijan Foundation at that point. Which year was it? Either 1st January 99 or 1st January 2000. 2000. I don't oh. remember exactly what year uh, and because it was very loose we just started with took an apartment of uh, a, a priest christian priest father windy who was my neighbor and who would treat me like a son uh, he was a gandhian who would travel all over the country trying to rebuild villages very missionary work i don't think he was into conversions and all of that luckily now that i look back it would be, would have been horrible but no he wasn't he was a, actually a very uh, that you go back to villages but also uh, which I find very problematic now at that point I was all in awe of Father Windy and uh, I actually went to Belgium I remember stayed with him in the church wow. <laughs> with all the nuns and such huge halls and empty rooms I was actually scared felt like a Bhutia Mahal to me staying in a church at night. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, so we started teaching kids. Started from my own home because the domestic help who came and joined my mother was just a few years into his joining, two, three years, and he told me he had not been educated. He was he had studied at class five. Okay. So usko likhna padna kuch zada nahi aata tha. So I had starting point uske liye tha. So my there was a neighbor of mine who was a retired army officer, Colonel Ramakrishnan. I don't know how I reached him. He doesn't have memory. I don't have memory of how that happened. But we met on 1st January, like I said, 99 or 2000 in Father Windy's office. Whether Father Windy was there or no, I don't even remember. But then there was a retired railways officer and we said, Dune, bachcho ke kuch karte hai. So I, my only role was to organize the office, convince Father Windy that we wo ghar de de, fight with the Resident Welfare Association to give us space because I don't know, I find people very constipated um, in, in, in social service mm -hmm. when it comes to sharing your spaces, your money and all of that. So, uh, RW was a big deal with RW. And which city hunti. was it? Delhi, Delhi. 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 So, I was doing a lot of work. Okay. So, urban villages, ke hai, urban poor, se, if you like. And uh, Lal Dora area, hota na, sab. So, sure. koi daily wage worker, hai, koi security guard, koi rickshaw, so I said, but it was from my from my own domestic and my mother's help. So, then I started two schools in Odisha, those schools were started for 5-6 years. Then one and girl, where did funds come from? I funded it all. Okay. So, I used to, my work was just this. My work was basically to fund it. I used to do a little fund. At that time, by the way, my income was very low. But then, this, I mean, so when I left my job, I had 19,000 in salary. I had 3 years to earn that back. But I had to start this fund in 
क्योंकि वो एक बचपन से एक वो भाव था देश की राष्ट्र की सेवा का एग्जैक्टली exactly क्या करना है वो सब कुछ आइडिया नहीं था बच्चों को पढ़ाना है इन्वायरमेंट करना है अब जाके तो आइडियाज़ बहुत इवॉल्व हो गए हैं और वॉट सम पीपल मे मे ट्रीट एज ऑल्सो रेडिकल एंड वॉट एवर लेबल्स दे वॉन्ट टू पुट ऑन मी दिस डेज बट बट या देर आर देर आर बिगर फाइट्स एट आई एम फाइटिंग एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम ऑल ऑन वीकेंड्स आफ्टर ऑफिस आवर्स एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट हवेवर येस दिस वॉज अ वे फॉर मी टू I guess sleep better or know that I'm doing something uh, back and not only yeah. sort of trying to build a business and create wealth. So I don't know where I went. Uh, yeah, so this office is now of my sure. trust. Srijan has moved out to bigger places. We are in DLF Cyber City, one of the most swankiest office I've ever worked in. So it's beautiful working from there. But yeah, this we kept because you know the video team and. all the uh, non profit guys uh, writers and Got project it. managers they come from different parts of delhi so i've sort of retained that office here so and when did you start your meditation journey tell us more about it yeah so like i said um, you know from a very early childhood i guess been attracted towards spirituality and uh, i don't remember class 6 7 7 8 7th 8th probably is my first earliest memory of getting the video tapes from we had that video recorder yaad hai wo tapes hoti thi padi wali ho niche se ek hamari jo ruk jati thi har aadhe ghante baad tape ko wind karna padta tha atak jati thi tape nikal ke fir usko wind karke wapas dalte the andar to bend jati thi so tape wala gali de raha tha humne meri ye kharab kar di tape exactly and all of that used to happen so i remember wo dharmik films hoti thi jaise santosh ji maya koi ramayan pe wo sab dekhte rehta tha was generally attracted towards spirituality from a very young age 7th 8th 9th sort of the memory last memory i have about doing such things uh, but i think formally meditation shayad ghar ke paas ek center hota tha jain center tha swami dharmanand jain usko chalate the सो so, वहाँ सुबह योगा होती थी छः बजे और पाँच बजे मेडिटेशन होती थी परीक्षा ध्यान करवाते थे तो योगा के लिए मैंने जाना शुरू कर दिया था वहाँ मेरे ख्याल से मैं शायद सत्रह साल का होऊंगा या अठारह साल का होऊंगा सो इट मस्ट बी व्हाट नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी थ्री टाइप्स नाइन्टी थ्री टाइप्स नाइन्टी फोर समथिंग लाइक दैट तो हाँ तो सबसे पहले लिटिल बिट ऑफ ध्यान योगा सब मेरे पहले गुरु जैन सांप्रदाय से थे जैन पंथ से इफ यू लाइक एंड देर इज़ नो मूर्ति पूजा देर इज यू नो वो सब जो नॉर्मल एक हिंदू फैमिली में रहते हैं वो सब नहीं देवी देवता का आइडिया वहाँ पर भी होता है बट यू डोंट वर्शिप यू जस्ट बेसिकली द जैन सांप्रदाय यू लुकिंग विद इन इट्स ऑल अबाउट स्परिचुअलिटी इज ऑल अबाउट विद इन वेल नो नाउ माई आइडियाज आर डिफरेंट एंड आई को चैलेंज यू ऑन दैट श्योर स्परिचुअलिटी इज ऑल्सो आउट ऑफ दी ऑफ दी आउट ऑफ द Uh, it is finally a within journey and within actually as well as outer but beyond religion that's what i wanted to but uh, that's exactly my point i knew this was coming <laughs> in in hinduism there is the or actually in all eastern religions uh, there is no difference between religion and spirituality there is no difference between science and religion i would These agree i would agree boundaries i would raise which have been created because of the european enlightenment I would agree, uh, Rahul, and probably this statement came from a uh, modern understanding, or or maybe understanding or, to, or misunderstanding of misunderstand- today's religion. Yes, and also because these are ideas which have been imposed on us, and we actually end up parroting it, including me, by the way. So I'm not being critical, but just that I've reached a better understanding. I'm sure. So for Arya Bhatta, uh, there was no diff. Let's look at the. Vedas, for example. Uh, you know, I learnt in this chair. Professor Kapil Kapoor sits and gives lectures sometimes. All mathematics and science started in this land to interpret the Vedas. Sure. So, just a very tiny example would be that you, when you did the Ved ka kund banate hain. हवन होमा करने के लिए सो यू नीडेड टू पॉइंट टूवर्ड्स द ईस्ट एंड द ईस्ट वुड कीप शिफ्टिंग यप विंटर्स समर्स सॉल्सटिस एंड क्या इकोनॉक्स क्या बोलते हैं जो भी होता है 
So it sh shifts, right? You know the, the exact direction of these shifts, right? The sun rises a little bit here and there, whatever. So, uh, so there was a Dhruv which was determined. A Dhruv is a pole which is not the current Dhruva. It keep, keeps changing throughout. At some point it was Kritika. And so somebody writes that Kritika is the true East. This is comes in very early Vedic texts. Okay. So all you need to do is not look at the sun, look at Kritika and figure out that direction and do the homam in that direction. The entire astronomy, science of astronomy, of observation of Kritika started because of doing that Haman. So the basis of astronomy, of observation of the stars was for that. Sure. It was mind-blowing for me, okay, that they started to, and would shift because of the Earth's uh, axis, the precision, all of that. So, and over long periods of time. So, because, you know, uh, the Earth is not, it's not like static in one place, you know, the whole solar system is moving. So, with all of that, at different points in time, we are seeing different constellations. We are not seeing Agastya, for example, disappeared for a few thousand years. And it reappears only at a certain point, for example, when you see it from Ramesh, what is now Rameshwaram. These are things I've learned along the way in my journey. And so all sciences actually started because you wanted to follow the Veda. Fascinating. It's fascinating. I don't want to uh, sound like fanatic, but I have started believing that whatever has happened in India, uh, there was uh, science behind it and uh, it happened to deepen your spirituality, spiritual journey, understand, I mean, uh, that's what it, it Correct. Came so I've from. come to understand that karma kanda for for which was which is ritualistic. So I've been brought up in an Arya Samaj family, right? As a as a my nana ji and my dada ji. So rituals nahi nahi. It's a bekar hota hai, right? This is all for pandits. Aisa hota tha. So that's been the upbringing. So my orientation bhi waise thi ki ritual ritual nahi karna. Spirituality is different from religion. Aap log religious ho, main spiritual ho. Yehi mera matlab. Inko sabko pita rega sab kuch panse or whatever till. Uh, just the last few sure. years and uh, increasingly I've become what you would call religious because that boundary between what is religion and what is spirituality has smashed sure. in my own mind at sure. this point. Sure. Okay. So I learned that uh, even Japa or a ritual is work of the inner. It is not work for the outer. It is not more demeaning to do that. It is just different forms of sakar and nirakar absolutely just forms with and form outer world is form. anyways the reflection of your inner yeah. world so right? we, so we have these ideas of um, what is it uh, brahman and pindan right so the body is a reflection of the of the macro of the universe absolutely so yeah. so so I don't know where you were. I keep no, no, no. That's distracting fine. you from no, your question. That's fine. That's that's more interesting. Maybe uh, you want to write down on the table. No, no, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> so, how has meditation and mindfulness mm -hmm. helped you lead Srijan and navigate through different uh, difficult situations that I am sure are inevitable in any business? So uh, it's not only in business but also in personal life. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I actually went through a period of depression also. Maybe it wasn't too much or whatever. I don't even know what is the benchmark of high or low. Exactly. But I did go through a depression. And it took me many, many years to come out of it. And also then many years to be able to talk about it comfortably as I am right now. Okay. So now I actually help, coach, mentor many other people. There are many people within Srijan who turned to me who've been in, you know, mild depression or just our age, you're confused, you don't know what to do with life, your mind is endlessly churning. So the many people who look up to me, I mean, who are regularly in sort of on the meditation path and keep checking in, ki, you know, here is how far I've reached and who, sort, who I have sort of personally mentored through the way in, in becoming much better people than they were uh, along the way. So. The way I'm able to do that is by telling them life is difficult and it's okay to have depression. It's okay to That's so be confused. It's okay to feel low. It's okay to what whatever you have put the weight of depression on you. 
my healing of depression or whatever started because I st- it started because of meditation. So I got deeper into meditation. Swami Dharmanand Jain started calling me at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. in the morning. So I was going to cycle and all of that. So of course that helped. Landmark Education is another program I went through that helped. Uh, it self-expression and leadership program. Tha. Yep. So that I did and I think that was a really important trigger for me. That is when I formed Srijan through the middle of that program. Um, and I learned in Landmark that, you know, a lot of times we get into a depression because we have, at least some people uh, get into it because we have a ton of ideas. And there is no execution of those ideas. There is no room, there is no expression and there is constant suppression that society does of idealism, of sexuality or whatever else. Exactly. And so I guess all of that collected me to leading wherever I was in life. And to come out of it, the self-expression and leadership program allowed me to express all that I wanted in society. So it just, you know, gave me a boost that probably, you know, I've so badly needed that I'm able to express it all in society. I can very well relate to it, uh, Rahul. I have been thinking of doing something around meditation, Hmm. maybe for many, many years. Uh, I started my journey around the same time when we founded To The New. Uh, I started my meditation journey around the same time. By the way, you didn't tell people that we've been competitors in, in the business oh, yes, for many and, years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think, uh, I mean, we take a lot of inspiration from uh, no, no, Srijan. No, no, uh, so, I started around the same time and have been thinking of doing something, but not being able to muster up that courage to do. Now, we I thought I have to do it before I die. Uh, and... <laughs> So we started Idanim uh, last year. So this leads me to another question. Uh, we both work in tech services industry and uh, uh, we know a l- lot of people in the corporate world, they feel meditation is not for them. They are not, not meant uh, for it or that's not, I mean, meditation might not be very useful to them. Despite having a very stressful life, is mindfulness or meditation meant for spiritual seekers or for a certain category of people or is it relevant for everybody? So two answers to that. Um, one, my guru, Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev, who I've been following since 2008. And I consider him my guru as well. Oh, is it? Okay. So Sadhguru Ke Saath is when my discipline of meditation started. I had come out of my depression, I was doing okay, but the clutter in my mind was not ending. The clutter, the confusion, just the scatter of thoughts and the endless chatter. So, sometimes it was like this, brother, stop, brother, please. <laughs> okay. So, I remember 2008 in modern school, Barakhamba, the last initiation that he did himself, last inner engineering. Ka. And I, while signing, I was like, please help. I'm sick and tired of the chatter in my mind. I need to calm down. You know, this needs to quieten down. So help me type. So in that mode, mein mein gaya tha. And those two incidents in there were, uh, I'd like to share that. And very powerful and hel- has helped a lot of people. One judgment that people carry is, yeah, my mind it doesn't quieten down. So I'm not for meditation. It won't happen. मैं बड़ी कोशिश करता हूं मगर होता नहीं है एंडलेस आर्ग्यूमेंट कम अक्रॉस दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्ग्यूमेंट मोस्ट ऑफन सबसे ज्यादा कोटेड यही होती है बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट एबल टू मेडिटेट सो आई डोंट मेडिटेट एंड अदर वे राउंड एज़ वेल बिकॉज़ सॉरी अदर वे राउंड कि मैं मेरा दिमाग शांत नहीं करता इसलिए मैं मेडिटेशन नहीं करता ओके शांत होता नहीं है तो वो वो बहुत वेस सो इसका ना बहुत it was the question running in my head also. But somebody else got up and was as if this person was asking for me. He was probably much elder to me, 10, 15 years elder. And Sadhguru, he asked this question, my mind doesn't stop, you know, and all of the same business. So Sadhguru said, you must be what, 40? May I say that for the last 30 years or so, you fed nonsense to your mind. Okay, which means whatever the world has given you, you fed it. You've not filtered it out. You had no discernment. Ye theek hai, ye mere ko chahiye, nahi chahiye. You didn't filter it. So you fed it. He says, what's the, what's the problem? The mind will now throw all that back at you. 
एंड आई वो स्टम सही बोल रहे हैं मतलब जो ऑब्जॉर्ब करोगे वो वो ही आएगा ऐसा करके एंड देन ही सेट यू डू योर जॉब लेट द माइंड डू इट्स जॉब यू डू योर जॉब यू सिट डाउन दैट स्नैप समथिंग इन साइड मी कि जो मर्जी कह देना माइंड मैं रोज बैठूंगा सर नॉट स्टॉप सिंस देन सो एवरी डे आई मेडिटेट दैट होल क्रिया आई डू एकदम मन नहीं कर रहा नींद आ रही है बुरी तरह कुछ भी हो जाए मैं बैठूंगा so, वो दैट डिसिप्लिन दैट डे दैट मोमेंट चेंज द मोमेंट ही सेट लेट द माइंड डू इट्स जॉब यू डू योर जॉब and just wanted to add another perspective which i mean i used to feel uh, shant nahi ho raha hai matlab fayda kar raha hai ki nahi kar raha hai main matlab uh, right direction mein to ja raha hu to ghar wale bhi bahut bolte hain itna gussa karta hai koi fayda nahi ho raha mere patient ka abhi bhi stress mein hai abhi bhi gussa ho raha hai to kya fayda hua and then i realized um, and uh, vasudev jaggi vasudev Jag- sadguru is one of them i have been following ko show i have been following a car tour like it's not really about quieting your mind that would anyways happen but that's a by product you have to start being more aware of what what is going inside your head your thoughts your emotions and with that awareness would come a conscious response so uh, when i when i understood it then that's the time when i stopped quieting my mind consciously i mean it does happen whenever i meditate i get into a deep deeper uh, peace Uh, a state where it's it's when I mean, it's more blissful uh it's difficult to explain that sure. it does happen but and now since after we launched idane we have been educating people don't try it mm-hmm. don't aim for it it would happen yeah. and the lesser you try it would happen more often so <laughs> correct that's the right point. so yeah stop trying to control the monkey just do whatever and exactly happen. so I mean, the guru said the other thing that he said was that this is like uh, Kama Dhenu. If you know in mythology, there is a guy yes. who gives whatever you ask for. He says this is like a Kama Dhenu. This uh, in our engineering, Shambhavi Mahamudra. You nurture it, she will nurture you back. I was just like, okay, I will do it. I will just nurture it. Whatever will happen, it will happen. So, as a byproduct, yes, the by product, yes, the mind quiet down, clarity of thought. Um, दिल गुस्सा होता ऑफ कोर्स होता हूँ सड़क पे मेरे साथ कभी बैठ जाओ तुम कहोगे गाड़ी चलाते हुए सबको गाली वाली देता हुआ जाता हूँ बट दैट डजेंट मीन आई एम नॉट क्वेट इन साइड एग्जैक्टली टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स एनी वे सो दैट वॉज वन पॉइंट दैट एंड एंड सदगुरु से समथिंग एल्स राइट सो बींग इन द कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड इज दिस फॉर पीपल एंड कॉर्पोरेट फॉर द यंग से इज मेडिटेशन इज फॉर द स्पिरिटेड when you have one your one foot in the grave then probably bad time to anybody would be spiritual at that point but you you have not been i mean you've expended all your energy at that at that age it is for the spirit it, it is when you have higher energy when you it is not for the old it was never a tradition for meditation no my question was uh, many people in the corporate world yeah. they they have a perception that meditation is boring they it would make them vegetative uh, it would uh, slow their growth slow their wisdom i mean to in my experience oh my it's it's the other way around but uh, my question to you as you lead a uh, business and you work with so many young people and in the corporate uh, environment uh you might have come across people who have hesitation and mis- misconception about meditation so uh my question to you is mm-hmm. i mean uh well, is it not, true <laughs> of course not i mean yes so i faced this a little bit in the family as well it is about matlab wahan par ye slowness wala i think comes from ki sanyas le loge sab sab chhod doge yaar are aisa nahi hota that has never been our tradition we've had a we've had our our lineage of people have been the most most rajasik people ram krishna buddha exactly Mahavi, all, all see all our gods uh, are devatas for us and at the same time they were kings they ruled yes okay buddha left but ram did not krishna did not they and were they, they, they were encourage uh, they encourage uh, married life they yeah. encourage uh, prosperity yeah. uh, growth uh, so this is creation one, wealth creation man in the char purushartha partha kaam dharma arth kaam moksha so i mean this was part of our everyday life 
एवरी बडी चतुर वर्ण चारों वर्णों में सब लोग ध्यान कर्मकांड पूजा ये सब उनका डेली का पार, पार्ट होता था ये तो बहुत ही आ, सब उलट पुलट कर दिया कि दिस इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ एज इट देर टू डिफरेंट लाइफ इट्स ऑल्सो इन आर लैंग्वेज राइट वी से वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस आई डोंट रियली अंडरस्टैंड इट आई मीन लाइफ वर्क इज नॉट लाइफ एक्साइड ऑफ लाइफ फॉर वर्ट आई से इट सो मेनी टाइम्स ट्रेवल आई मीन वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस आई मीन इट्स इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ यूर लाइफ आई मीन आप लाइफ टू लाइफ उसमें कुछ पर्सनल है कुछ स्पोर्ट्स है कुछ मेडिटेशन है कुछ आई के साथ है सब कुछ मेरे को तो स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ भी समझ में नहीं आती व्हाट इज स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ लाइफ इज लाइफ आई मीन करेक्ट सो एक कॉन्वर्सेशन हुई किसी के साथ ऑन यू हाउ डू यू टेक योर होल सेल्फ टू वर्क होल सेल्फ और फिर मैंने जाके इस पर गूगल करा ये है क्या तो फिर पता चला कई लोग कई साइकाइट्रिस्ट और कई बड़े बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट गुरुज इससे आई मीन देव रिटर्न अबाउट दिस सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक द कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड एक्सपेक्ट्स यू टू लिव स्किड्स ऑफ रेनिक लाइफ एक आपकी जी अपनी विचारधारा है वो आप ऑफिस नहीं लेके आओगे ऑफिस में कोई और व्यक्ति आएगा घर में राहुल दीवान को छोड़ के आ जाओ यहाँ पर कोई सी ओ आएगा वो सम बडी एल्स आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस मेरे लिए इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लिव एन इंटीग्रेटेड लाइफ उसमें मैं इंटीग्रेटेड लाइफ को मैं और मतलब अधूरा नहीं छोड़ता हूँ सो आई नीड टू हैव द आंसर्स ऑफ वाई डू आई डू देवता पूजा इज एन आंसर आई बीन सीकिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम इट्स ओके फॉर मी टू नॉट हैव एन आंसर एंड स्टिल डू इट फॉर सम टाइम बट but i do seek the the answer and i'm not satisfied because it doesn't integrate with me main dhang se kuch bhi kaam kar nahi paunga agar integrated nahi hota wo chai ayurveda lena ho homeopathy lena ho modern medicine lena my experience with modern medicine has been horrible okay it has harmed me more than it has ever cured me for the last 25 years and i write about it and people call homeopathy uh, placebo and uh, nonsense and yes sir and on the contrary my experience says otherwise about homeopathy including in raising my kid and then you know there's a whole lot of world over there but what about homeopathy works so here is what i'm trying to say um people will take homeopathy for example i know quite a few people who will take homeopathy but okay. what what is homeopathy finally it is energy medicine okay but you will all of the rest of life will be almost despiritualized so i can't understand that you will getting sorry me? didn't get it so on one hand you will take a medicine which supposedly works for you so it's you say it works for me but your personal life is there is no concept of um it's it's a little hard for i'm trying to find the words for it um एक डिसइंटीग्रेशन होती है मुझे लगता है लाइफ में वेयर ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट पेरेंटिंग हाउ डू यू लुक एट अ चाइल्ड इज इट योर चाइल्ड और इज इट लाइफ चाइल्ड डिड यू प्रोड्यूस द चाइल्ड और डिड लाइफ वॉज ऑलरेडी देयर बिफोर द द मदर्स एग एंड द फादर्स पर्म टिल द मेट एंड द बट दो टू सेल्स हैड लाइफ ऑल्सो दिस पर्म एक्चुअली they fight in the vagina to get up to and meet the sound they have to go like upwards it's bizarre what do they don't have life there is life already there it is just that by it is an ha- happen stance that wo mile ek ek or ek sperm and then they started multiplying is a different form of life to mere hisab se homeopathy and parenting are a continuum why because it's energy medicine then you also got to look at the kid not like cling on to the children endlessly okay because finally they are a gift from life and you tend to believe I, that you, you own them you own them i apne produce kare bhai are you seeing the point that of integration yeah. that i'm talking about if you believe in something go the go the distance look at other things also which are just life and energy and all of this, this that's is happening i mean most of the parents they end up in misery this is one of the most i mean a clinging hoti hai apne children ke liye 
कि आई ओन देम एंड दे नीड टू फिल अप माय माय एम्प्टीनेस करेक्ट माय व्हाट आई कुड नॉट अचीव माय चिल्ड्रन शुड should be able to achieve oh, and that's a part hai but you know there are these subtle things i am doing this for you i want you to succeed no 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 no, 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 no. you I want I to go no, out and I fill your emptiness exactly. by saying mere bachcha ne succeed kara exactly aapko 10 ko batana hai aap bechare ko potre ho baith ke exactly and uh, they just becomes a means to uh, fulfill your ego needs haan ji to apni emptiness ko bahut sahi bola aapne आपकी मैं लिंकड इन प्रोफाइल देख रहा था उसमें देर आर देर इज अन्शन ऑफ द वैल्यूज दैट यू प्रैक्टिस इंक्लूडिंग ऑथेंटिसिटी ट्रस्ट कॉन्टीन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट विच आई फेल्ट आर डीपली कनेक्टेड टू द बेसिक क्वालिटी ऑफ मेडिटेशन माइंडफुलनेस हैज माइंडफुलनेस प्लेड एनी रोल इन सीडिंग और डीपनिंग दोज वैल्यूज हंड्रेड परसेंट मतलब इन डीपनिंग यस सीडिंग उनको वर्ड कौन से शब्द मिले कौन क्या चीज डीपन हुई फॉर एग्जाम्पल दी इन सिक्योरिटी विद बींग ऑथेंटिक आई डोंट थिंक आई एम इन सिक्योर अबाउट इट ठीक है बट डज दैट मीन आई टेल ट्रूथ हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम नो आई डोंट आई हैव टू बी कॉन्शियस ऑफ कौन क्या किस वे में क्या चीज ले लेगा और कई बारी कुछ चीज़ें रिजर्व भी करके रखनी पड़ती हैं हाइड करनी पड़ती हैं वट एवर वट एवर रीजन बिकॉज आई डोंट थिंक द एबिलिटी फॉर सोसाइटी एंड पीपल अराउंड टू टेक ऑथेंटिसिटी इज ऑल्सो वेरी लो थ्रेश होल्ड इज वेरी लो फॉर पीपल टू टेक इट हाउ एवर आई प्रैक्टिस इट एंड एक्चुअली आई प्रैक्टिस इट विद कस्टमर्स एंड समबडी वॉज टेलिंग मी वन ऑफ माई मैनेजर्स नाउ पोस्ट एक्विजेशन दैट राहुल डिसम्स यू नो difficult situations and customers with this authenticity so i actually am like that i would like to add to that uh, uh, rahul uh, we at tt and i think i told you last time as well this is one value that we really practice i mean we take it very very seriously this this figures in our top value and uh, it is a part of our dna our culture and we see uh, while looking difficult Uh, as an outsider but once we practice it i mean we we feel it is in us uh, you can't really inculcate it i mean uh, either you are authentic or you are not hmm. you can't really i mean so but it does wonders i mean it helps you navigate difficult situations difficult conversations difficult clients difficult people you just need to be authentic i mean i practice it very often when kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha to aap honesty se karo और फिर जो भी होता है वो अच्छा ही होता है हाँ। चाहे अच्छा ना हो नहीं नहीं होता ही है मतलब वॉट एवर एनी इट इज प्रॉब्ली द बेस्ट आउटकम इन एनी केस राधर देन फाइटिंग इन वॉट एवर एल्स इन अदर वेज सो आई फाउंड दिस वेरी वेरी पावरफुल एक्सट्रीम कस्टमर सिचुएशन वेयर जस्ट बींग ब्रूटली ऑन एव एक्चुअली टोल्ड कस्टमर्स दैट लुक इफ यू आर बैड इंजीनियरिंग प्लीज फायर एस you know if you've done bad work for you please fire us you know but don't let us you know pinpoint blame on us for things where uh, where you know equally you have had challenges with putting the right resources on a project you know main bilkul brutally bol deta hu kai bari at the cost ki dar kya mujhe dar nahi of course lagta hai ki wo chale jaye कस्टमर एस्केलेशन करने में इफ़ यू हैव अ वेरी पुअर मैनेजर फ्रॉम अ कस्टमर साइड आई एस्केलेटेड पीपल टोल्ड माई पीपल गो हैड राइट डाउन अजाइल वैल्यूज राइट डाउन वॉट वी प्रैक्टिस राइट डाउन दैट यू आर फीलिंग डिसरिस्पेक्टेड एंड टेल द पर्सन बॉस जिससे प्रोजेक्ट बंद हो जाएगा तो क्या करेंगे ऐसे भी डील विद इट एंड वी बोलो तो हाँ जी आई मीन आई कैन रिलेट टू इट वेरी वेरी वेल एंड इट डज वंडर एवरी टाइम द बॉसेज हैव कम बैक एंड सेट वी आर सॉरी we are going to replace these people or tell them to tone down and and the other way around as well rahul uh, just say i mean if we uh, don't really do a good job at a certain project and there are times when we fun. don't uh, just say acknowledging it just saying sorry we couldn't really do it yeah. people are ready to listen people are and, ready to give you ready another to, chance absolutely more money in you split and share in all reasonable some of the challenges and some of the costs of of your screw up but people go out and finally we are all human beings aur aise lagta hai ki itna matlab just authentic hona itna aasan hai as matlab itna wonder karta hai itna logo ko dikhta 
कम है कम लगता है दुनिया में ऑथेंटिसिटी जो उल्टा है सब सब लोग ये बोलते हैं सिखाया जाता है बचपन से कि ट्रस्ट मत करो टिल यू समबडी हैज प्रूवन द दैट दे कैन बी ट्रस्टेड इट्स द अदर वे अराउंड यू स्टार्ट ट्रस्टिंग पीपल टिल दे स्क्रूड योर ट्रस्ट आप वहां से ऑपरेट करो विद पॉजिटिव इंटेंट तो बहुत अच्छा होता है पॉजिटिव इंटेंट बाय द वे मेरे मेरे कोच राम गोपालन ने वर्ड दिया बड़ा अच्छा वर्ड है इसके पहले ये टर्म नहीं था वो कैबलरी नहीं होती ना कई बार वॉट यूर सेंग सो दिस वो कैबलरी वॉज गिवन बाई राम राम गोपाल इज बीन माई कोच फॉर फोर फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स नाउ श्योर श्योर नाउ टेल एस मोर अबाउट योर एन जी ओ फूड पर संगम टॉक्स आई थिंक बोलूँगा मैं ओके ठीक है थोड़ा बहुत बता देता हूँ फूड पर स्यूट्स मेरा जस्ट जनरली after the acquisition i make some investments and all of that so i try and do that out of four pursuits so investing in some companies in india investing in israel hopefully i'll stay within these two countries so that investment is via four pursuits i have a non profit called uh, sangam talks yes uh, i i don't talk much about it but it's a civilizational project uh, and once again i can't live a disintegrated life to so, actually one of the reasons for me to uh, look for an exit for the last few years was because i don't find a voice to give you an example i in, during the russia ukraine war just as it started i posted a video of mears uh, john mears heimer he's a american professor I don't know Chicago University of Chicago or somewhere he teaches, and is one of the few voices in U.S. which has been saying for 20 years that NATO is going to lead to a Russia-West war, and it is going to happen. The way NATO is expanding and constantly rubbing Russia and trying to rub its nose on the ground, every opportunity, constant expansion, even though Gorbachev and was it gorbachev or was it uh, yeah maybe gorbachev or maybe it was putin i think it was gorbachev that they had an agreement that nato will not expand beyond a certain anyways so i posted that video that here is another view <laughs> there were i want the drupal board uh there were people from the community there were people random people one architect senior architect at bbc they openly started threatening me on linkedin there will be consequences for your business take this post down for what for posting a video of professor john mearsheimer who is saying that this is the reason this war is going to happen he predicted that 20 years back and has constantly been writing about it for posting a video without much comments that here is another view of what is happening in russia stop just banned bashing russia what was happening was there was a conversation about banning russian developers this was a boring for me i mean what russia does as a government and whatever however you know devilification of putin you want to do you can't ban russian developers okay you can't start saying you're not going to work with russian companies who probably have nothing to do with the war whether right or wrong oh, i'm not going there but there is actually they talk about free speech but there is no free speech diversity is important only if your color is brown but your ideas are the same you toe the west corporate line of what must be said there was immense pressure on me during the black lives movement to put out we support black lives movement and all of that i had to actually resist all of that that i am not going to muddle the company or myself into all of this business um and this is not me being a radical there is professor milton friedman professor thomas sowell who is is a black economist who is against the black lives matter movement i follow his line and i will not do anything to do with black lives matter i think the more reservations you create the more special status you give people exactly that's you have another form of that discrimination discrimination they call it affirmation this is utter nonsense is how i have come to believe it because you create there is 
anti white movement now how is that not discrimination every exactly. person you call anti brahmanical or white supremacist what is this is that not reverse discrimination so this is an idiocity and honestly the corporate world in india follows exactly the line of the corporate world in the west in america in particular and honestly i have not had a f- freedom to say what i need to and that's been part of the reason that i've been wanting to exit for a few years because it's just so much that uh, i i start to live a disintegrated life i live a work life and i live a rahul life so which this point i have a little more time sure. to go before <laughs> i sure. can completely live a one integrated life but i will in a few months mm. great any tips that you could share uh, for people who want to start on their meditation journey no just start meditating that's wow, the only that's, a, that's a great tip it's the only thing just like a bed jao bas bed na shuru kar do 10 minute 15 minute just sit down quiet your eyes let the mind do chatter and you see this one in misconception i want to speak about the idea that the mind must become blank Firstly, this blanking of mind was the pure dhyana. Meditation, I don't know, is a new word. I don't know what the etymology of the word is. It कहाँ से आया है? But the yogic idea of meditation is called dhyan. Dhyan. Dhyan is not shunyata of the mind. Dhyan is focus. Focus on something. Even the act of doing. Devata puja with complete dhyan is meditation. Oh yeah, I am drinking this water. water I can is dhyan. I is dhyan. can make it a dhyan. I mean, right. but even there is value in shutting down the eyes yes. and stop the movement of the body. उसकी कोई दो राय नहीं है. कई बारी लोग I think इसको ना excuse बना देते हैं. जी मेरे को iron press करने में एक मेरा दोस्त होता था. Merit for me meditation is ironing the clothes. Okay, fine. It can be meditative. but it is not meditation you know you, find, you said it i mean i was looking for those <laughs> words yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> you cannot make anything i mean uh, oh, washing clothes uh, cooking Haan, i mean that would certainly deepen your practice and your awareness uh, awareness uh, that's a manifestation of uh, dhyan right in the in the external world in the outer world but uh, i mean in order to deepen it in your inner world you of course need some practice need that would certainly that help but uh, no denying the fact you can still do it but if you do it yeah, with happens. some time with some dedication uh, some sincerity that would certainly help or ek maine na excuse dekha hai especially among women uh, my women colleagues raho time nahi hota kabhi bacche kabhi husband kabhi parents in law you know un sab ko family ko dekhna hai unka yaar koi to aapka kahin par swarth hona chahiye has to be absolute selfishness with a capital s like the self इशनेस वाला कि दिस इज माई टाइम और इस टाइम में मेरा बच्चा भी मेरे लिए इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है यू नो यू टू स्टे आउट सो आई डू यू नो यू टू प्रैक्टिस मे बेटा आई टू क्लोज द डोर एंड आई टोल्ड हिम दैट दिस टाइम यू विल नॉट डिस्टर्ब एवरी एंड एवरीबडी दिस इज वट आई है एक्चुअली या वेल नॉट एवरीबडी बट आई सॉ माई सन लिटिल बॉय यू नो एज ई ग्रू मी वॉचिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस मी मेडिटेट एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट आई मीन But the way he would respond, he would constantly why? छोड़ता नहीं है मुझे दो मिनट नहीं आई हैव स्पेंड लाइक मैसेव अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम वर्क फ्रॉम होम जब से आई रेज हिम लिटरली ही वुड नॉट लीव मी बट जब उसको पता है आई एम सिटिंग डाउन ही वुड ओपन द डोर स्टार्ट कमिंग इन दैन यू ओ ओ अभी नहीं आ रहा मीन दैल्यू एट एंड आई जस्ट फाइंड इट a sheer excuse not yeah, to do it exactly. uh, nothing else there is there is no dev there is no uh, what do you call not getting the right word isme kuch commitment to dikhao baki sab hai nahi matlab ye bahut fluffy excuse hai there is no uh, isme kuch hai nahi ha meet nahi hai usme isme koi meet nahi hai correct ki mere ko time thoda sa commitment dikhana padta hai uske baad hota hai and maybe people can just start with 10 minutes a day i mean uh, start to karo ha कोई टाइम ऐसा चूज कर लो जब घर वाले नहीं हो डे ना निकाल पाना आई जस्ट डोंट बिलीव आई डोंट बाय दैट करेक्ट सो थैंक यू राहुल फॉर शेयरिंग ऑल योर एक्सपीरियंसेस योर जर्नी आई एम श्योर 
at least some users uh, would start trying out meditation after listening to your experiences i hope <laughs> i write on my blog agar kisi ko padhna ho to medium pe doing the right things to sure bahut sara likhte rehta hu sure and um, thank you so much for sparing time thank you, thank you so much uh, lovely talking to you and uh, ji yeah thank, thank you. you namaste namaste